Put your shirt off. I don't give a shit. Put your shirt on, man. Fuck my shirt. <laughs> So how you doing, man? I'm all right. Happy birthday, man. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. But how you oh, doing, though? What's going on, man? Nothing. Just staying home today, waiting for my niece to come. You going out? Nah, yeah, we're going to shop, food shopping. Food shopping? Yeah. What else? What else? Yeah, I'm just going to stay home and put away my clothes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Look at Cool Hurt. Yeah. Did you know Cool Hurt at all? <laughs> ask Cool Herc about Fat Mike. Do I know? Cool I'm Herc? asking you. Did you know? Yeah, him? I know Cool Herc. Yeah, each one as teenagers, as high school people, yeah, yeah. Well, or well, grown I, men. I mean, grown men and, and in high school. Yeah. 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 I mean, what do you want me to do? Yeah, my man, he's still in the A. You know what we said. You know, Fat Mike gets on you. Yeah, I know Fat Mike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, you ever heard this song? Come on, man. Yeah, this song. Yeah, this guy. What? Well, come on. You heard that? She do crazy dances off this shit. 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 Cause that's they say that's the b boy anthem. That's the break yeah. dance anthem. That's what he's doing. Get out of here. I'm crazy shit. Yeah. Oh, we were doing that shit for that b boy bullshit. Before the b boy though, y'all was yeah. dancing to this. Yeah. Wow. They used to play that at the pool on 174th Street. The pool room? Yeah. No, the pool. Oh, the pool. Right the pool. there, YCA on uh Bryan. Was that Bryan Avenue? Who Avenue? Over there, 170, oh. 174, 172 seconds. Behind Bronx River, you saying? Behind Bronx River projects? No. That take that little uh, bridge bus. over there? They, yeah, you go over the bridge. That bridge, right. Yeah. They had over a there. pool yeah, over there? That pool. Yeah. And what, they used to play this music? That, that. They used to play music when you swim in there. Hmm. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a process. Um, I mean, they, they just tell me this three field goals, James stuff a lot throws out there. It's a win. Ron Van Cleef. That was your teacher? But yeah, he was young. He was in y'all, though, right? He was young, man. I don't give a shit who was he young or older. He was, at first he was one of uh, stupid and Google's teacher. Googie. Yeah. He said that he was, that's Tex. Tex brother. Older brother, right? Yeah. Obasan. Who's that? No, that, that was another teacher. Oh, he's that's the key. So how did y'all meet Ron Van Cleef? To Ronald. What Ronald? To Ains? Snoopy. Snoopy. Oh. Oh. To Snoopy. And where he used to teach y'all at? Downtown the village. Downtown the village? Yeah. Oh, man, because he became a movie star, right? Yeah, the Black Dragon. So he was teaching y'all before he was in the movie or after? Yeah, before, uh, before, before then and after. Ron began to teach the martial arts philosophy, traveling as far as Africa to give demonstrations. He's still teaching, although now his students tend to be celebrities who want to keep fit. No, no, I know he's good as hell. Yeah. Right. He tore around, he tore Snoop, Snoop tore that and brought us down here. Snoopy just came back from Vietnam in 1969. He was breaking bricks in front of my building in the third section. We was karate experts. Oh, he tore Snoopy. Yeah. But I thought you said Snoopy, Snoopy came from Vietnam with some of that stuff. He did, but he also does rap. Listen. Doesn't matter if he did some of that in Vietnam. Okay. Still, Ron McLean was his teacher. Okay. So what that means? What he learned in there? He got nothing more. He got his ranks from Ron McLean. 
and other teachers. Yo, Mike, put a shirt on. Turn around, give me that uh, shirt right there. Jesus Christ, you want me to come up in miles and get fucking fully dressed? You ain't got to get fully dressed. You want me to get fully dressed with some more? Fuck your people. Yo, kids. Anything else you want to know? Yeah, you make me want to start all over because now you got a shirt off. I don't even know. I want to. I want to put that stuff with your shirt on. I don't give a yo. Listen, listen. I don't give a fuck what people think. Yeah, you understand? (laughs) Don't care. All right. Um, who was Tony the cop? It was also Herbie the cop. Right, Herbie Ooh. the cop. It wasn't Herbie the, the cop. cop. What was the other cop? They used to chase us all the time. Tony, 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 Tony the, the cop. cop. <laughs> <laughs> Who was Tony the cop? Oh man, I ain't gonna get into that. Oh no, no, don't act me nothing about Tony the cop. Oh, okay. Um. Do you remember a DJ named Smokey? Smokey? Yeah, Smokey. No, no, no. Oh, listen. Even though I was in the space and all that stuff, I was a working motherfucker. Right. After a while, we all started working. Okay. So all that DJ shit, we like left behind. Right. When Mario like dropped that shit, because he couldn't get no sponsor and all that, we just left it behind. And DJ D. D and Man Bada, Quirk, and they all stuck with it. Yeah, they kept going, right? Yeah, they kept going. So we just probably go to their parties and shit like that. But we were working, man, we were dressing our ass off. We, we didn't yeah. have time for that no more. Yeah. We were, I put it this way, we were players then after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We started fucking with women. Yeah, women. Going to clubs that they, they couldn't even get into. But you know, um, I got Ronnie, right? Me and Ronnie did a little thing, and Ronnie talk about um how like he left Mario, and I'm trying to. He said that when he left him, basically Mario went down. I could say that after I left, he went down. Mm, I could say that after you left, he went down. But he, he didn't have nobody to really hook the set up. Ronnie, who? His cousin, Ronnie, Ronnie Ron. Said that when he left, his when cousin. he left Mario. Cause he used to hook up equipment for Mario. Yeah, he was good at that shit. Right. He so shit. when he left, Mario didn't have anybody else to hook up his equipment. Like you said, with Mario stop. So that's why I'm thinking that had to do with Mario stop. Really, I never paid attention to who hooked this shit up and right. all that other bullshit. I didn't have to carry nothing. I didn't have to do shit for going to party hmm. right. and make sure no crazy shit happened. That's all we did. What, going to party and make sure no crazy No crazy shit, shit no fighting and all that crazy shit. Yeah. That's all. After after you got like an adult, you, you still kept going to Mario's parties? Or no? Like 80, 81? No, hell no. You I was going, going to clubs, man. I was going to. I'm saying. You talking about 81, 82. I look like type going to them shit at 81, 82. Come on. <laughs> hell um, no. Um, Nobody. I was, yo. And we were just partying then, Party. going to places, going to, you know, pimpings, the Viticus, mm. places like that, and places I don't think you even heard of. Mm. And you was working at Pathmark. What about Billy Kent and Mr. White? Yeah! <laughs> But, uh, Mr. White was cool. Billy Kent was a crazy white motherfucker. Oh, yeah? yeah, he's a crazy white motherfucker. And Mr. Wright, I'm saying Wright, not White. Mr. Oh, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright got us all our jobs there. Oh, yeah? Yeah.